You're going to love this experiment. First, I'm going to add some neon purple food dye to the fluid in this bottle. After making sure the food dye is mixed really well into the fluid, I next add a whole bunch of table salt to the bottle. Then, I mix everything up once again, sit back, and enjoy the show. Isn't that crazy? The color separates into a pink layer on top and a blue layer on the bottom. You can also see a purple layer in the middle as the colors separate. I'm going to show you how you can do this experiment for yourself and also teach you a little bit about the science behind how it works. To carry out the experiment, first add 210 milliliters of water to a half liter bottle. Next, add some acetone until the bottle's almost full. Leave a little bit of room at the top for the salt that you'll put in later. The next step is to mix the water and acetone really well. All right, now it's time for the experiment. Just add in about four drops of neon purple food dye or the food dye color of your choice. Mix the dye thoroughly through the fluid and then add 50 grams of table salt. Thoroughly shake the salt through the fluid to dissolve as much as you can and then set the bottle down to watch the separation happen. Now here's the science behind how the separation works. Acetone and water molecules will mix with one another due in part to a force known as hydrogen bonding. But water molecules are more strongly attracted to the ions and salt than they are to acetone molecules. The attraction between the water molecules and salt ions is so strong that the acetone molecules get pushed out. You know, kind of like when two people love each other so much they date each other exclusively. So this is why when you add salt to the mixture, it separates into two layers, an acetone layer on top and a salt water layer on the bottom. But why do you get the two different colors? To understand this, we're going to need a deep dive into some chemistry. There are two different dyes that make up the purple food dye. Blue dye number one and red dye number three. Their chemical structures are shown here. It's obvious that the blue dye dissolves in the salt water layer, while the red dye goes into the acetone layer. The blue dye is strongly attracted to water because it has a total of 11 atoms per molecule that can hydrogen bond to water molecules. So it ends up in the salt water layer. On the other hand, the red dye molecules have only five atoms capable of hydrogen bonding with water. This makes for much weaker attraction to water molecules, so this dye dissolves in the acetone layer. So there you have it. That's how to carry out this colorful separation experiment and the science behind how it works. Hey, be sure to let me know in the comments if you try this experiment on your own, especially if you use different dyes and get some different results. Thanks for watching, everybody.